Okay guys, this is gonna be a short video on coil testing on a five liter. You're gonna need two things, uh, an inline spark tester, which you, you could do without it, but this just makes your life easy. These things are 10 bucks, so there's not really a good reason to not have one of these. Uh, I think this one might be a, a Lyle. Anyhow, uh, you're gonna need that, and you're gonna need a $10 incandescent test light. What do I mean by that? Incandescent's the type of bulb. Incandescent is a regular old school bulb, like a 194 kind of a bulb. Whereas the other type is called an LED test light because it's got an LED light. Incandescents draw more power than LED lights, so we use them for different purposes in diagnostics. All right, I've already got the key on, so we're going to go over to the coil with our incandescent test light. And there's going to be basically two wires on the coil. The red and green wire on the left, that's hot anytime the key is on. That wire on the left... That is your 12 volt supply voltage, your power source to the coil. Basically comes from the ignition switch. Now, we're gonna take the test light, we're gonna stick it in the other side, and watch this. You also have a test light, and yet this is the ground side of the coil, so how does that work? Coils are just a winding with resistance in them, but if there's no load on that resistance, then that winding passes voltage through. So the 12 volts that's going into the coil on the left side is coming out of the coil on the right side and lighting our test light. But what'll happen is this gets power all the time, the red wire. The tan and yellow wire there, he gets ground only when the, when the ignition module wants to fire the coil. He will ground the coil for just a few thousandths of a second. And when he releases that ground, that energy that was created in the coil has to disperse somewhere and it disperses into the secondary wires here so that's uh, it, it charges up when this is grounded and then when you quit grounding it it fires the coil all right so that's how it works now what's going to happen is we're going to see a flicker in the test light and i need to explain to you something here no matter which side we test we're going to see a flicker because on this side as the starter spins over you're going to have voltage varying so there's going to be a flicker on the constant power side, even though the power is constant. So I want to have a quick look at that, and here we go. This is constant power, only flickering because of a battery voltage variance while the starter is cranking. Okay, I don't know if the camera picks that up or not, but it doesn't flicker much. Now, we take that same test light and stick it over to the negative side. And we don't have to worry about how we back probe these things because they're kind of wide open on, on these cars. So we just set our test light in there like that. Now, when we, sp when we spin it over to the negative side, watch how this thing flickers now. There's not a lot of difference, to be honest, between the two sides, but it's definitely more pronounced when you're testing coil negative. Okay, so what does that tell us? It tells us that the ignition module is grounding the coil on and off. The module's doing its job and pulsing the coil a few thousandths of a second at a time. And that's why we're getting that, that flicker. Now, if we did the test light in this side, the negative side of the coil, and we didn't get a flicker, and it looked exactly like the positive side of the coil testing, then you don't have ignition control. Your, your module is not firing the coil. We'll go back to why that is later. But right now on this video, we're just trying to figure out, is my coil being turned on or not? And is it getting power or not? So real simple, the left side, the red wire, it's either got power or it doesn't. With an incandescent test light, it puts a little bit of a load on those wires. So it's kind of testing them under some stress. An LED uh, test light doesn't put any stress on the wires there at all. So not a good... An LED is not a good test light for this test. Um, so we're going to have power here all the time. And while we're cranking, we want to make sure that that power stays there. If that power disappears while it's cranking, then the coil is, is drawing more amperage than what the wire can supply. But when we see this light stay lit on the red wire, that's the first half of the test. The second half of the test is we come over here to the tan and yellow wire and test that same test again this time on the right side of the coil. We see the flickering. We know we have coil control there. So the tan wire with the yellow stripe uh, on the coil 
is getting pulsed by the ignition module. And that tells me my module is good. It is producing the signals necessary for the coil to fire. The reason this particular car is not starting is because I have the computer out of it at the moment and it's not going to get any fuel that way. So the no start that I have is uh, something I created for this test. So anyway, that's how you do it, man. Um, if you see the flicker on the passenger side and you have a constant uh, light, sorry, not the passenger side, if you see the flicker on the yellow wire, tan and yellow wire, and you have a constant bright light on the red wire, those are the two tests you need to do to figure out if your coil's getting power, if it's maintaining power while it's cranking, and if the ignition module is pulsing the ground. I'm gonna show you that one last time. Don't forget, this ignition module is sending power, it's actually it's grounding through uh, a tan and yellow wire that's somewhere in that pack. And that's the same tan and yellow wire you see over here. The ignition module is grounding the coil a few thousandths of a second at a time, one time for every spark it wants to fire. So here's the last shot of it. Take a good look at what coil control looks like. And again, if we put it into the hot all the time side, this should just stay lit. And the only uh, variation you're gonna see here is in the battery voltage jumping up and down because the starter's drawing a ton of amps. And this is what that looks like. Much steadier. So that's how you test a coil on a 5 liter.